I'm Dan St. Ives and welcome to Talking With for part two of my interview with Richard Karn. You'll know Richard from his time on home improvement, family feud and so much more. He's here in Calgary right now appearing in Stage West's production of Game Show. We'll talk about Game Show, home improvement, family feud and a Canadian treasure. So. Back uh, in the day when you were on Home Improvement, I hate to keep going back to this. I, I, That's I right. keep doing this every time, but you're well known from it. Uh, now with satellite and cable TV, there's thousands of Home Improvement shows. Do you think that Home Improvement had anything to do with bringing that maybe a little bit more into the popular front? Uh, maybe, but uh, you know, Home Improvement is is a is a popular subject. Everybody. It affects everybody, you know, we're, whether we're nesting or whether we just want to fix up our apartment or we bought a new house and, and you know, a lot of people want to do stuff themselves. So, I, no, I think it's fascinating. I, I mean, I'll sit there and I'll watch somebody, you know, put up a drywall. That's kind of interesting. You know, we just knock it down. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, actually, we did an episode of drywall and we were on stilts. Drywall stilts, and Tim put a, like in a pneumatic uh, lift on his, and he goes up through the ceiling. It's pretty funny. So actually, now that I think about that, you wouldn't want to model any of the home improvement shows on home improvement. Well, we had some things. You know, we we had helpful hints how to how to uh, take out a broken light bulb with a with a potato. Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, that was kind of interesting. It's uh, like you say, it's been off the air for a while. I mean, not off the air. It's on. I know, I know it is, it is, and that's great. You know, I'm now, uh, you know, when I think back in my youth, I would think of the people in Gilligan's Island or the people on, uh, I don't know, Star Trek or something like that, that I was growing up with. And now there's people that have grown up with me, which is kind of interesting. It, it's the passing of, of all of the generations to see some of this stuff coming, like, uh, Family Feud, like you took over, you were the fourth host? I, yes, I took over for Louis Anderson. Yeah. And then uh, John O'Hurley took over for me and now Steve Harvey. Yeah. Did you get a chance at all uh, to, like uh, Richard Dawson passed away last year, did he have any contact with you? I didn't. I, he was kind of a recluse. Uh -huh. um, you know, he, he, uh, he had married one of the contestants, like in the 80s, okay. I think. Or, yeah, I think it was the 80s or the 70s, late 70s. He married a contestant, and, and then he kind of like became a recluse. So I, I never really got to meet him, but I met a lot of other game show hosts because of this. It's, it was yeah. kind of funny, you know, all you, these guys. Yeah, you had a, you were, uh, there were several GSN things that you were involved with, yeah. and uh, here you are back at a game show. I feel like, you know, the four years I, I was on, uh, on, on Family Feud was all research for this show. This, you know, it all culminates with this show, because now I'm, I'm being a game show host. There's a strong thread of comedy that runs through everything, even your game show work. Was that something natural for you, or did your acting studies focus on comedy in particular? Um, you know, I didn't... I really never did stand-up. That, that's a whole different discipline. I, uh, most of my work had always been on stage, and so everything's written for you. And then you do television, and all of a sudden lines are being changed. Or, you know, um, Tim's saying, I don't want to say this, I think I should say this. So now all of a sudden it isn't written in stone, which is, uh, which is scary and also, you know, um, you need to keep your mouth shut till you know what you're doing, in, in, a, in a way, because um, sometimes you don't know what's better for you. So eight years of, of home improvement, I really learned what, what I would fight for and what I go, yeah, you're right, um, this is better, this is better, and, and then once in a while, something I came up with could be used and, and we would, you know, change it around during the week of rehearsal, but then once the show was being taped, we were pretty much, that was in the book. And we, we just made it look like it was an improv. And here, it's all improv. You never know what And here, the, the, the part of the game show is, you know, the questions aren't improv, but, you know, answers or things like that kind of come Audience. up. And, yeah, I, <laughs> and I've cracked myself up a few times, you know. I, <laughs> it's fun. Is this your first uh, chance to work in Canada? or? I've done movies in Canada. Okay. You know, I did some of the Air Buds and MVP in both Vancouver and Toronto. Um, uh, per, uh, Picture Perfect. But this is the first time I've done theater. Yeah, yeah. 
I was going to say that you actually have a, uh, a strong Canadian connection on your professional CV. You started with one of our national treasures, Pamela Anderson, early on in your career. I did. I did. I, I'll tell you a funny little story. My dad came down from Seattle to watch the pilot being being filmed, and he couldn't believe Pam Anderson. He, he and Pam were like sitting there, because she hadn't been cast yet. So she wasn't really sure whether she got the role yet. Uh, but she had, so I'm, I'm not quite sure. This is my dad telling the story. <laughs> and, you, you know, he's had a prescription or a subscription to Playboy <laughs> since like the 60s. He's got every one of them in boxes. He came back down a few weeks later with her copy and oh my God. asked her to sign it. And she was like sweet as pie. She was really great. She grew up in Ladysmith. I don't know if you know where Ladysmith is. Uh, but yeah. It's on the island, but we used to boat. And Ladysmith was one of the places we'd go in to gas up and, you know, go to the one store and the one, uh, you know, post office yeah, of Ladysmith. It's such a small world. Yeah, it is. So the show here in Calgary, right now that you're appearing, Game Show, I, Game show. I thank you so much for uh, agreeing to spend a few minutes in between two shows today. No, oh, you're uh, welcome. I can't say thanks enough. And uh, if you're able to, come in and check it out while it's raining here in Calgary. Thank you.